I'm like starting on Sunday, but going through Monday because on Monday we get another round of moisture to move in between showers for the valley and more snow expected up in the higher elevation. Tomorrow temperatures will cool as well. 65 is what we're expecting in Phoenix. 32 for Flagstaff, 43 for Sedona, 37 for Sholo, and 60 for Bullhead City. From Bullhead City down through Yuma, your wind should be fairly strong coming out of the west northwest at about 45 miles an hour. So driving can be a concern along the I-10 and of course the I-8. As we head into Monday, I said those afternoon showers could continue for us here in the valley about 60 percent. New tonight. The nation's capital is filled with all kinds of history, not just our countries, but even fossils, which are half a billion years old. Now one man is on a mission to make it easier for visitors to find them. Here's Wee Jia Jang. Christopher Barr walks about 12 miles a day to and from work in Washington, D.C., but not for exercise. So this, this appears to be a fragment of a small clam-like shell. He's hunting for fossils hidden in plain sight. We have fossils all over the city. The 59-year-old lawyer first noticed fossils in 2002 in a retaining wall inside this park where his children used to play. Since then, he's found dozens more, from tiny shells embedded in the Capitol reflecting pool to this worm burrow at the Department of Labor. How do you find fossils in the city? Well, just by keeping your eyes open. Barr set up a website to keep track. If you know what you're looking for, you can find them yourself. The National Park Service once published this guide describing general areas to look for them here on the National Mall. 